Kia ora, tolo falava, ma lo la lei. It's, it's Iggy here from the Coffee Chasers and I'm here to talk to you about some international coffee we've managed to get from my old hometown in New Zealand. You probably alluded to I have a beautiful New Zealand accent, also dubbed the sexiest accent in the world. That can't, that can't be that true. That is legit. Actually? Yep. Um, I've managed to acquire a couple of coffees. Um, this one is from Havana Coffee in Wellington, my old hometown, super deluxe blend, which we're going to chuck through this bad boy. Uh, also got from Ripe Coffee, which is in Petoni, or Pet One as it looks like and spelled. But this was Valley and the Mocha Java Coffee. We're going to try those through this one as well. And last but certainly not least is the Kenya blend. This is a special one. I'm going to do a separate video on this through a pour over. But today we're going to concentrate on this monster. For those who've seen our other videos, uh, Joel has a Breville Barista, which is a cracking machine, but I've managed to acquire this one uh, for about $100 off Marketplace. It's a Sunbeam Cafe Creamer. Um, I've been using it for about a couple of weeks now and it appears that it's doing a good job. You don't need to spend squillions of dollars on a good coffee machine, you just need to spend some decent money on some decent coffee. Today we're going to use my uh, table grinder, proudly brought to you by Kmart. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> it's going to run some espresso coffee through, not going to be having it as, uh, with milk in it. It's just going to be straight dark coffee that Joel and I both enjoy. We're putting through Mocha Java Blend first. I'm going to give this a waz. I'm using kid scissors. Very safe. It's Super probably, safe. He says kid scissors, but they're the only ones he's allowed to yeah, use. That's right. Ooh. Jesus. Oh, Ooh. I haven't had a coffee today yet either. I'm on coffee number three. Buzzing. Press the button down. It's going to be really loud in the microphone. What? What? <laughs> Is that something? How do you know when to stop? I generally just go when there's a little bit less resistance. You can hear it just starting to in about now. So it comes out looking like that. Fantastic. It goes... Oh shit, that's great. Can we swear? Are we swearing? We can swear. Yeah, we can say shit. I dropped, I dropped the F-bomb in the last video. Did you? Yeah. And it was played? And currently on YouTube. Oh, is it? Cracking this under here. So we'll bring that bad boy out here. It smells great. Let's give it a whiz. Oh yeah. Oh, crap. It's got um, this chocolate in there. It's very nice. Do you want to give this a crack, man? Yeah, have a crack of it. That's oh, nice. It's not as bold as I thought it, as it might be. Mm, pretty smooth for yeah, a Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's like uh, crazy smooth. No. But it's uh, it's definitely got some zazz on it. A, a lot of zazz. <laughs> this one is the Valley Blend. Petoni is based in the Hutt Valley. Uh, I used to live in the Upper Hutt, and this is in Lower Hutt. Super, super cryptic. I almost can't understand what you're saying. Yeah. One's north and one's south. Huh? I'll let the audience decide which one's which, upper <laughs> or lower hut. Yeah. We can actually see behind you, we've got a uh, nice little map there of... Yeah. Those of you playing at home and playing New Zealand Bingo, that is where Petoni is. But Petoni is based in uh, Wellington, uh, on the opposite side of the harbour to Wellington. So this one Uh, I'm using a cup by Ikea. You know, if Ikea wants to sponsor us. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to send me some more of these blue cups, Ikea, I've got a thousand <laughs> of the bastards. So please, please do. What are those cups called in um, Swedish, mate? Uh, it's a corpse. <laughs> Sven gets the corpse from the cupboard. Anyway, let's try this bad boy. So this is the Valley Blend uh, by Ripe. Let's go. Jeez, there's a lot hotter than the last one. I'm pretty sure this is the everyday blend they have. There's not a lot of flavors that hit you in the face it's not as astringent as the last one probably because i've had four coffees today it's starting to <laughs> kick in pellet that bad boy yeah i'll have a grab yeah i get exactly what you're saying it's yeah. there's no um ups and downs it's just quite a, a people pleaser that's yeah. what i'd call that sort yeah. of coffee just a people pleaser it's you're gonna get a lot of people that drink uh and last but certainly not least havana just quickly, Higo, tell us again about the simple setup that you've got. Uh, so many people have told me, ah, oh, I'm not going out and spend thousands of dollars on, a, on an espresso, which, you know, we've touched about on other um, videos that you don't need a no. huge setup like that. This thing's doing a fantastic job. I've got a grinder from Kmart for $14. This was $11 from Kitchen Warehouse, but you can pick up these things for about 16 bucks. And this machine, milk frother on the side, I think all up I've spent uh, it's all up, probably just under 200 bucks for a full espresso setup. As yep. in, you can pick it up dirt cheap. So If you were in two minds about buying a coffee machine and you didn't know whether you wanted to buy a, a flash one that you can do all your own grinding with, 
buy something this to start you off with. It's not gonna kick you in the teeth too much in the bank account. Anyway, let's grind this coffee. Ooh. This is the uh, Super Deluxe Havana blend. I have had Havana when I was in New Zealand before I left. I used to drink it at local cafes, so yeah, let's give this a, a whirl. What I am gonna do though is macchiato means to stain the coffee. It's strong. It's a everyday blend. Again, I'll leave Joel to have a bit of a ponder on that bad boy. It's just, it's just, a, it's coffee. Yeah, that's exactly what you want. Yeah, I don't mind that. That's probably, uh, I like the second one actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice though. It's hanging around as well. It's uh, got a bit of mouth feel. <laughs> yeah, what? Mm. Yeah, that's you a can, real You thing. can feel it in your mouth. <laughs> but, but this one just sort of sitting at the back, it's going, hey. Okay. So that was uh, Havana Super Deluxe. We've had Ripe uh, Mocha, uh, Java, and we've also had the Valley Blend from um, from Ripe as well. So I'll put some bits and pieces on our social, linking them in, so anyone that's in New Zealand and listening, or anyone that wants to order internationally, hit them up. Um, good bunch of coffee, very, very straight across the board. Uh, coffee that you can drink every single day. So thanks very much, that's Tego, signing off. Hooroo.